review today some of the techniques for the proper hatching of brine shrimp eggs. While every hobbyist has a favorite method and techniques, the one that we'll share with you today has proven generally satisfactory for most hobbyists. Obviously, the first and most critical choice is to choose an appropriate egg. Both the San Francisco Bay brand and the Salt Lake brine shrimp eggs are excellent choices. Next comes the choice of a hatching device. We are going to use the San Francisco Bay brand brine shrimp hatchery. First, we will secure the hatchery cone to a wall hook. Next, we have to connect the source of air. We always put the air pump higher than the hatchery cone to prevent water from siphoning into the air pump, should a power outage occur. Once the air pump is connected to the cone bottom with the airline tubing, we'll plug in the air pump and add one liter of tap water. Next, we're going to add 5 grams, or approximately 2 teaspoons, of our quality Salt Lake brand brine shrimp eggs. During this time, be sure to keep the aeration going and allow the dry eggs to rehydrate for approximately 1 hour. After an hour, we add 10 grams or approximately 3 level teaspoons of rock salt or synthetic sea salt. Next, we are going to direct a light source towards the hatchery cone as this stimulates a better hatch. The incubation time for a hatch is temperature dependent. The higher the temperature, the shorter the hatching time. At 80 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, the hatching time will be 24 to 30 hours. At 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the hatching time increases to 36 to 48 hours. Temperatures in excess of 90 degrees Fahrenheit will arrest embryo development until temperature is again brought into the optimal range. If the selected hatching temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, harvesting can take place after 24 hours. At this point, 90% of the hatchable naplii or baby shrimp will have emerged. Our hatchery cone has been incubating for about 30 hours and is now ready to harvest. To harvest the naplii, simply close the air valve securely and remove the air line from the cone. Direct a light source to the bottom of the hatching cone and, if possible, seal the upper part of the cone as it will hasten separation. Empty shells will rise to the surface and the naculi, being phototactic, will settle to the bottom of the cone. After approximately 10 to 15 minutes, or when separation is complete, place a container under the hatchery cone valve and drain the baby naculi into your container. Next, we must rinse all of the salt from these baby napuli so that we will not harm our fish. By draining the collected napuli into our brine shrimp net, which comes with the brine shrimp hatching cone, we are able to effectively wash all the salt from the baby shrimp without losing any of the nutrients. We are now ready to give our fish a highly nutritious and gourmet delight.
There is one more important part to the hatching story. Our research has determined that a dirty hatching device is probably the single largest cause of a poor hatch. After each use, the hatching cone should be scrubbed thoroughly with a mild detergent. Once the cone is thoroughly cleaned, it must also be rinsed several times in clear water. Make sure that the soap residue has been fully removed. By following this practice after each hatch, you will always be ready to start a fresh hatch, thereby affording your fish the opportunity for a continuing gourmet food delight. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation on hatching brine shrimp.